Welcome to Lordran. What was once a thriving empire is now a kingdom of death and despair. I'll be putting my survival skills to the ultimate test and taking you along on my journey through this accursed world. Thousands of warriors have already been chewed up and spit back out by these unforgiving lands, but if you follow my advice, you might just survive. I'm deep in the kingdom of Lordran, an unforgiving land with some of the toughest challenges you'll ever face. If you're stranded out here, every decision you make is critical. Make a bad call and you're dead. Now, the kingdom of Lordran is host to the curse of the undead, which can be seen as a major problem. <laughs> Or, it can be a blessing, depending on how you look at it. Returning from the dead may not seem like such a bad thing, but dying too many times can put your body at serious risk of turning hollow. You can see, hollowing is a stealthy killer. This fella may still be walking around and moving on the outside, but his poor mind has completely perished. The body decays, and all that's left is a weak, putrid, undead husk. <laughs> After a freak accident, I was caught slightly off guard and I was in pretty bad shape. I had to act fast. You need to replace any lost health, and taking a drink from your Estus flask is your top priority. Oh. 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 You see, even the stupid, decrepit monsters out here will hit hard if they strike in a group. It's prudent to pick off your foes one at a time, otherwise it's like signing your own death warrant. What a naive fool we have here. <laughs> I've collected a few valuable souls from that hollow, but there's plenty more where that came from. Here in Lordran, souls are the nearest thing this kingdom has to a currency. Brutally murdering these halfwits is not only fun, but also an effective method to gain some souls. Souls can be exchanged for goods and favours, as well as upgrading your armour and equipment. Now you might think that trading with the tortured souls of the dead is a bit cruel. And it is. But a man with plentiful souls is a man who will achieve his goals. You know, there really is no greater relief than lighting your next bonfire. An experienced knight who stays aware of his surroundings and maintains a sharpened mind can really thrive out here. And if you follow my advice, you'll do just as well. I definitely feel like I can navigate the world of Dark Souls a little bit easier now. If you like this, click the like button, click subscribe for more awesome FX-focused content, and come back next week for more Dork Survivor.